Good morning, welcome to a brand new home vlog. So we have a ton of new things to open. Well, maybe not a ton, but we have some new home decor items that I'm gonna share with you guys here in a bit. And I got my first Dunkin' holiday coffee of the season. So exciting. This is what I got. So it is a large iced coffee with less ice. I always get less ice because um, I want more drink. <laughs> and then I got four toasted white chocolate swirls, which is a new holiday flavor this year. Two caramel swirls and four cream. And then I got cookie butter cold foam on top. The cookie butter cold foam is so freaking good. If you like cookie butter, definitely try it. Um, one thing I will say though is if you like your coffee a little bit less sweet, then maybe get one less swirl because I feel like the toasted white chocolate swirl is sweeter than uh, maybe the French vanilla or caramel swirls. So this could have been a little bit less sweet and it still would have been good. I would do maybe four or five swirls instead of six. Six is just my norm and normally it's not too sweet, but that's really sweet. So still going to drink it because it's still good, but certainly more sweet than normal. All right, let's get into this haul. So the first thing I got was a new lock for my door. I got a biometric lock on my closet door because my kids, first of all, they just went trick or treating and they have a ton of candy and I do not want them sneaking candy all day. Second of all, whenever I buy a ton of snacks, I put them in my closet because I don't want them just eating snacks all day because they definitely will. And also like they'll get into my makeup, they'll get into my skincare products. So anything I don't want them touching, I will put in my closet and now I can actually lock the door and nobody can get in but me or my husband because we have its fingerprint. It uses your finger your fingerprint. Um, it also comes with a code. You can put a code in, but they also don't know the code so they cannot get into my closet anymore and I'm so excited about that I love it it works so well and I would highly recommend that lock if you need if you if you have a roommate if you have kids that you need to like keep out of your personal spaces anything like that definitely recommend it it's in my storefront um and it's linked below this is closed so I guess I don't really need to show y'all that because <laughs> it's not home related but I probably will still try it on and show y'all what it looks like because I want to I do want to try it on so next I have a crate and barrel delivery which is some dishes I love crate and barrel dishes and they're actually not that expensive I feel like uh pottery barns dishes are more expensive I feel like most you know higher end places have way more expensive dishes but crate and barrels dishes are pretty affordable and I really really like the quality of them first of all it's very well packaged look at the how they packaged it up so I am a sucker for like a sauce dish and I just love oh look at the shape I didn't real. I didn't understand okay I didn't realize they were going to be this shape this is so cute oh my gosh y'all they always have cute little dip uh bowls and I just love these little dishes they're so cute y'all it's perfect for like soy sauce, perfect for uh, dips for ketchup, barbecue sauce, you know, uh, honey mustard, anything that you dip stuff in, especially and this shape is really good because first of all, it's super wide. So you could dip a sandwich in here. Like if you had like an au jus that you wanted to dip a sandwich in, and this is like the perfect size for something larger that you want to dip. The other ones that I have, let me show y'all. So because I rarely ever get to see these in store, I'm never really sure what they're going to look like. But this is the one that we, the ones we have right now. And then this is this one. So these work really well for, you know, all kinds of dips. But the way that this one is oblong and like wider. So by comparison, this is how much wider it is. They probably hold the same amount, but... Oh my gosh, girl, you about to break it already. Um, I love this. So I got five of these. And they always say Crate and Barrel on the bottom. I'm obsessed with having these little dip trays. And this one is called the Mini Oval Sauce, sauce Dish. It's 1.5 ounces. So I will put these in the cabinet along with the ones that look like this. 
And then I got something completely new that I've never tried before. I don't have any dishes that are this shape. So I was like super excited about trying these out because I just think these are so classy looking. And they look professional when you put food on plates that look like this. But I got a little uh, rectangular dish. This one I feel like is about 10 inches by five inches, I wanna say. So cute. I don't want the kids to touch this, so I'm gonna put it up high and I'll use it. Um, this is not gonna be like a normal everyday dish. I'll use this when maybe it's just me and Bernie and we have some something good to eat or something or when we're putting out stuff for a party or a gathering that we're having. These are so cute. So I only got two of those. They're actually a little smaller than I imagined. Even though they did list the dimensions, I still feel like I thought they would be bigger, but I still really, really like them. And these were $5. And I think these were $2.50 or something like that. Around around $2, $2.50, something like that. And again, these were $5. So I will link both of these below. And I'll also link these if I can find them, if they still sell them. Because we use these a couple times a week. <laughs> All of us use these a couple times a week because they just come in so handy for everything you're eating when you want to dip something. And then the other thing I got from Crack Barrel, which I don't actually have here because I chose to go pick it up as opposed to um, having it delivered because I didn't want to pay the, the delivery fee, is the coffee table. So I finally ordered a new coffee table. I sent back the coffee table from or took back the coffee table from World, World Market. I was not a fan. First of all, I felt like it was too small because it was 55 inches. And I was specifically looking for a 60 to 65 inch coffee table. And I found it at Crate and Barrel. It was on clearance, it's final sale. But I really like it. So I'm happy that I was able to find it. I went ahead and bought it. And I have to go pick it up from Richmond from their, um, what is it called? Fulfillment Center or something like that. They have a like a, a warehouse, Crate and Barrel Warehouse. That's where I'm picking it up from in Richmond. So when I go get that, that will complete our living room. Our living room is pretty much done and I'm so excited because y'all, this living room has been a beast <laughs> to finish. Um, it's been a, it's been a, it's been a lot trying to get the, just this whole level, trying to get dining chairs, trying to get living room furniture, trying to get plants that look good, trying to get planters that look good, curtains, curtain rods, freaking pillow covers, the coffee table. Oh my God, the coffee table was such a process. Um, Yeah, it's just been a lot. So I'm so happy <laughs> that we are like just about done and we have a couple more payments before everything is paid off and that will be that. So I'm so excited that we are finally having one completed room. But we have a couple more things that I want to show y'all. So the next thing that I got is this art. So this is going to go above the couch. Y'all, when I saw this, oh my gosh, obsessed. Like this is the reason, let me back y'all up. This is the reason why I got the colored pillows that I got for the couch because it has this taupe, it has the grays, it has the blacks. It's just bringing in all the colors that I want for the house or for this level. And I just love it. So, and it also has the silver. Y'all know I'm like, if I have to choose a metal, it's going to be silver. So I just love everything about this. Like, it's so cute. And it's big. The dimensions are 31 and a quarter by 41 and a quarter, which is huge. So across, it's over 60 inches across. And of course, there's going to be space in between. And y'all know the couch is 105 inches. So we need something big. So this is one of the pillows that's on the couch. And then the other one is gray. So I just want to show y'all the pillows up against this painting. So y'all can see how it all ties together. Y'all, I'm obsessed. It's so cute. So again, y'all are going to see everything put together once we actually get it all, you know, done and worked out but oh i'm so excited so excited i love how it's coming this living room looks so good the dining room looks so good and the kitchen was already looking good so yeah now we got one more thing that i need to show y'all it's another world market find i'm obsessed with world market like world market has some cute 
stuff. If you don't shop there already, girl, go to World Market. <laughs> go online and look at their stuff because they have some really, really nice stuff. Like everything is not nice, but they got some nice pieces. So don't sleep on them. I know some people probably haven't even heard of World Market or never, never go, but you can really find some nice things there. Especially like stems, vases, art. And now I even have a furniture piece from them. So I'm I'm hooked. I'm a believer because y'all will see it in the tour. But the furniture piece that I have from them is so cute. It is so nice. So I'm not going to show y'all today because I want it to be a surprise in that video. But yeah, just know they got some nice stuff. I had to order this from World Market because I didn't want, um, they had one in the store. That's where I originally saw it in the store, but it had scratches on it and I wanted mine to be brand new, untouched, and I didn't want it to, to get it off the floor because I knew there would be a higher chance that it would, it would be imperfect. So, I went ahead and ordered it. It took a while to get it. I'm not gonna lie, it took about two, three weeks to get it but it was worth it so all right Ugh. can y'all see the size of this face and i'm the kind of person i will buy something like this and i will just hold on to it because if i find something like a huge vase like this that i really really like i'm gonna buy it and i'm just gonna wait until i have somewhere to put it and that's what i did with the one I got from Crate and Barrel that ended up on the dining room table and it looked perfect there and I've had that for like almost a year. But I just didn't have anywhere to put it at first but now, you know, that I found somewhere to put it, it's like the perfect piece. So, this is the vase. <laughs> Y'all, how beautiful is this vase? I love it, like I'm obsessed with it. When I saw it, I knew it was the one. The texture is giving me Crate and Barrel. The quality, y'all. It's so heavy. It's so huge. Like, I think it's 17 inches across or 21 inches across and 17 inches high or either 17 inches across and 21 inches high. It's huge. I love, it's, it's a lava texture. So that's what it's called. I believe it's called a lava vase. But you can see the crackling texture it kind of reminds me of the planter we got from crate and barrel like it's given concrete you know what i mean it is beautiful i love it so i'm gonna link this for y'all because it is so freaking nice this was 80 dollars, which is a really good price for something this huge <laughs> for such a statement piece um yeah y'all it's nice so my plan for this is to put it on the coffee table i can't remember if i said that already but this is gonna go on the coffee table y'all it's big as me <laughs> and i'm not small it's so cute i freaking love this i love it it's so nice i could not wait for this to get delivered but now i gotta wait for the coffee table <laughs> so it can go on top but yeah i am obsessed with this but anyways, let me show y'all some of the stems I bought that I was planning on putting inside of it. And we can see how it looks. Even though now, I bought those stems for fall. And now we're going into winter. Because it's November 3rd. So I kind of missed the boat on the fall stuff. But I'm still going to keep the stems. And we'll see how they look inside of it. Because I'm not really ready to switch out the stems over here either. But here are some of the stems I bought for fall. So I really like this burgundy maroon kind of color with the like wisps of mustard yellow it's so pretty and then i bought um this one from michael's this is from hobby lobby um but michael's had 50 percent off their fall stems so i don't know if that's still the case but they did have 50 percent off so this was 15 dollars with oh i think it was six it was either 50 or 60 percent off at michael's but this was 15 dollars before the sale but it was less than 10 afterward um, I think it's like six or seven dollars. So this is an option for y'all can't see. Hold on. So this 
So I just want to play with it a little bit and see what we come up with as far as um, these fall stems. I'm interested in seeing how this will turn out. And these are dried, ooh, these are dried flowers. So these are real. These are faux, but these are real. So these you need to be a little bit more gentle with. I don't know if they're gonna work well in here or not because they, the leaves on these go all the way to the bottom of the stem. So this might not be the right one to put in this kind of vase. So we're about to see. Like, look at this. How pretty. You gotta be so gentle with these though. And just in case you're curious, this is like a eucalyptus. And I'm assuming it's probably just dyed. Cause I don't know if eucalyptus comes in this color naturally. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do this because you have to be extremely gentle <laughs> with these. And this, this vase is rough. So I'm a little, I'm not gonna do that because I just feel like it's gonna ruin these. So I think I'm going to maybe just go get some different stems. This doesn't look bad, but also it's not like giving what I wanted to give. Maybe if I had two of them, I would like it better, but I think we need some different stems. And I kind of need to figure out my Christmas uh, color scheme because that'll help me pick stems too. And now Christmas stems are probably gonna be on sale. So I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'm gonna find some stems to put in here to make it look good, but um, I just don't think I have the right ones right now because this is just a little bit too rough, especially on like the eucalyptus, like they don't, it goes all the way to the bottom. So I don't wanna take the chance of ruining this. I'm not gonna do too much and try to force it in here just for this year because I want to be able to use it in the future. I don't know if y'all have ever used a leaf blower before, but it's so much fun. Oh, it's so much fun. I love doing that. But anyways, I just cleared that whole pile of leaves and this is what it looks like right now. So I just push it all the way, all the way back into the woods so that it's not flying out back out into the yard whenever the wind blows a little bit. But we still have all of this yard to do. So all of this and the whole front yard too. So quite a bit more. Yeah, so it is Monday morning. Um, it's a work day for me, but I'm at Target because I didn't get a chance to go to Target yesterday. I needed to go. I wanted to go, but I didn't have a chance. Like by the time I got myself together, took a shower, um, made dinner, and did all that, it wasn't. I didn't even have time. Like it was like 6:30, and I 
and I was like, I feel like Target closes at like nine on Sundays, maybe. Anyway, I was just, I didn't feel like it. It was dark and it was starting to get cold and I was just like, whatever, I'm just, I'll just go another day. So here I am. I had my coffee. I had a free dunk. I had a, um, I had enough points to get my iced coffee this morning for free. I just converted my points in the app. If you don't use the Dunkin' app, girl, use the Dunkin' app because you're going to get something free at least a few times a month. Then you will appreciate that. But yeah, I got my work computer and I got my MacBook too in case I want to edit because I really need to get a video posted. I have a couple projects I need to finish for work. But I don't feel like the reason why I'm here today is because it's gonna be a pretty light work day for me. I'm not, I don't have like a ton going on. But y'all, I I have a good job, right? <clears throat> I have a really, really good job. I love my supervisor. I work for a great company. They do a really good job of trying to make sure that that the, their employees know that they value them. So we get mental wellness days once a month. We get every holiday off. Even the ones that you may not, that some people don't get off, we get every single holiday off, every single one. Like there's not a holiday or a special day that we don't get off. We get the full week off on Christmas. We get um, the day before Thanksgiving and the day after. We get um comp days like my supervisor gives me comp days whenever i'm like tired or if she, if i've been doing a good job she's just like take the day off i mean i'm we check in every week and she's always like you're doing amazing i'm so glad you're here blah 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 and i just it's such a great work environment for me like i've had a great experience working here and i'm very grateful for the job that i have and the role that i play and the supervisor that i have and just um the amount of compassion and empathy and everything that is my job is great like i have no complaints about my job i have no complaints about the amount of time off i get i have no complaints about the amount of like vacation time i get the amount of personal days i get the amount of sick leave i get like i have enough of everything and i get to work 100 percent from home so I love my job and again and it's not the kind of job that I would just quit without a backup plan or without some other something to replace the income that I make because I get paid very well to do my job but that being said <laughs> I would I don't want to work like I don't want to have to work and it is it's a struggle because even though I work from home and even though it would seem that I have a lot of extra time and I, you know, like I should be able to do everything I need to do, there's not enough time. <laughs> like it's just not enough time because I'm still, I still have kids, like four kids in the house with me every day. King has to go to work. The kids have activities. They have school. I have to work. And like a lot of the time when I'm at work, I'm, you know, if I'm not in a meeting, I'm actually working. I'm in front of my computer for most of the day. And it just, by the time I get off work, it's, so usually I'll start work at 7.30. By the time I get off work, it's 4.30. <clears throat> sometimes I'm, I'm getting off late. I still have to cook meals. Sometimes I'm cooking breakfast. Sometimes I'm cooking lunch. I'm on cooking dinner a lot of the time. Then I still have to like grocery shop and it's just a lot of stuff that goes into running the household and then my kids are home so they're eating every meal at home they're doing they're spending all their time at home they're you know asking for stuff all day and it's just like a lot so I wish that I had a little bit more time to focus on my YouTube channel and like my growth and then also you got to make time for yourself and like not be working. So I don't know. I just, in a perfect world, I would be able to do content creation full time. I'm not there yet because <laughs> it's nowhere, it's nowhere near the income from uh, my YouTube channel is nowhere near replacing my income from my job. So there's no way that I would be able to like stop working my job and do that full time because it would be a minute before I would be able to like fully get there 
Um, I do appreciate the extra income that I get from YouTube though. But yeah, I just I just wish that I had more time. Like I just feel like there's not enough hours in the day some days. And then like when I don't have to work as much, like when I'm not enthralled in my work, then there's like other stuff happening. Like maybe I want to go out with family or friends or whatever. It's just and I it's not that I'm not complaining, I'm just saying like that's why it's so important to like have your you know have your goals lined up have everything where you know what you're gonna be doing when not necessarily like scheduling your whole entire day like every hour of your day but because that's just not realistic um things happen and you know you gotta pivot but having your goals clearly defined it gives you direction for what you want your day to be. And I actually spent a, a Monday a few... Let me turn this car off. Probably like three weeks ago, I spent a Monday. Um, I took it off on a Monday. I just took sick leave because I was like, I was exhausted. I needed time to myself. I did not want to be... I didn't want to have to focus on work that day. So I took the day off. I came out here. I was sitting in this, target, this same Target parking lot. And I was trying to like plan my future and I think well I did I did plan some of where I want to go and um really what it boils down to is just that dedication and that commitment to being consistent to doing making sure that I'm like posting consistently making sure that I'm doing the right things and Joel I think Griffin is lying to you. Joe Durant is a mom, a former teacher, breast cancer survivor. Tara does not support an abortion ban. Tara Durant. What the heck? Not it just coming off. Um I'm gonna be candid. So because I feel like I'm kind of beating around the bush. So I feel like I know that I've accomplished a lot of what I set out to accomplish when I was first getting my bearings as far as like deciding what I wanted for myself and being in a place where I was completely unhappy with my life and just I felt like I was not contributing anything to the world and then I decided to improve my life I decided to start working toward becoming a better version of myself and then that turned into me writing the book and then that turned into like everything that's happened now <laughs> it turned into us getting our house it turned into me uh, self-publishing my first book it turned into everything that we have right now the life it, it turned into the life that I'm living right now which is great like I like my life I there I don't really have a ton of complaints when it comes to like the my quality of life we can go on vacations we can you know afford to get our kids everything they need we can afford to have two new cars we can afford to have, have our brand new house like we are so blessed and so we're doing so well and I'm really proud of how far we've come because this was not always the case <laughs> and it just goes to show that you know you can do what you want to do it's just a matter of doing the right things to get yourself there and that's why I know like I'm never like you can't have that I'm never telling myself that's not something that's attainable for you I'm always telling myself because I know in my heart and in my mind that you can have whatever you want <laughs> there's nothing that I can't have if I'm willing to do the work the issue is am I willing to do the work and typically if I'm not I'm honest with myself about it and I'm like girl you're not about to do that <laughs> it's like an internal conversation it's like okay so this is what you want you about to do this to get it and I'm like mm, nah I'm not about to do that <laughs> and then I'm like okay well you don't want it and then I'm like all right yeah, I guess I don't want it and that's how it goes and that's how life is it's like you either going to do it or you're not and if you're not then don't complain about where you are and how you know you don't like your situation and all of that because you can do the things to get what you want so that's always like my frame of mind when I think of how my life functions and my capabilities as a person. So I know what I need to do and I know what it's going to take and I know that it requires sacrifice and that's the thing I be because I'm comfortable with my life the way it is. I'm like, 
I don't know if I feel like sacrificing. <laughs> but I feel, I really know in my heart that to be the best, the best version of myself, one of the things I'm going to have to do is get back on my health and wellness journey. I'm going to have to get myself back on track. I'm going to have to eat better. I'm going to have to work out and move my body. I'm going to have to make sure I'm drinking my water. I'm going to have to track my, uh, to track my progress. And like, there is no way that I could be the best version of myself if I'm not doing that. So that's one of the things that I really need to work on. So I just wanted to share that because I know I'm not the only person that be feeling like life be life in. <laughs> and like, I'm not the only person that feels like something is unattainable. But when I feel that thought coming, I'm always like, no, mm -mm, you can do it. You can have it. You just got to do the thing to get the thing. Are you going to do the thing? No? Okay, you don't want the thing. <laughs> and I feel like I've kind of conditioned myself now to not really think that way anymore. It's more like I don't allow myself to think that way because it's like you already know better. So why would you... It's not a pity party. It's not like somebody is stopping you from reaching your goals or doing what you want to do. It's you stopping yourself from doing it. So I just wanted to kind of share that frame of reference and frame of mind just because I know a lot of people struggle with feeling like they can't like they can't have or do or be certain things and you absolutely can it's just a matter of if you're willing to do the things that are going to get you to the point you want to be at and if there just comes a point when you have to be honest with yourself and say I'm just not ready yet to do that thing to do the right things that are going to get me there and whenever I am I can and that's that. So that's it. I just um, wanted to share how I've been feeling lately and what my thought process is around just everything <laughs> and life in general because I'm just really struggling with how much time I have to spend working every day. But then at the same time, I'm not doing everything that I could do to be my best and to show up as my best self online so that I can, you know, eventually grow the follow my following to where it needs to be and get the views that I need to get and make the monthly income that I need to make and get the right sponsorships and like get the right partnership opportunities and girl, you're not doing the right stuff. <laughs> so it's just kind of like either you're going to do the right stuff or you're not. And I when I get to the point where I'm 100% ready to do all the right things or at least like 80%, 90% of the right things, then things will change. And it, that's just what it is. Like either you're going to do it or you're not. So I know a lot of us feel like we cannot. And I just wanted to remind you that it's not that you can't. It's that you aren't. It's not that you can't. It's that you haven't been doing what you need to do. And you just need to decide and or figure out what the step right steps are and start taking them consistently. And it doesn't have to be big things. It's usually really small things that make the biggest difference because you do them so much and because your consistency compounds and creates results. And of course, that is all discussed in detail <laughs> in my book, Make a Deposit. So go ahead and grab your copy of the book and the journal. I need to be reading it myself. I actually started reading it um, a couple weeks ago and I need to just continue because you lose sight even though you know certain things you lose sight of what is actually important and what's actually reality because I just feel like reality is is subjective a lot of times it just feels like it's one way even though you know what it is it can kind of feel a different way especially when your experiences don't line up with what you know to be true so just a reminder that you can have whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. It's not about you not being able to. It's about you not being willing to do the right things to get yourself to where you want to be. You can. Everything is attainable. There's really not much that you cannot have. I hope that it sounds how I mean it, which is to be motivation and not that it sounds like um, like shaming anybody because this is how I talk to myself too. I'm not saying like, this is something that's specific to you or anybody else this is in my mind this is this is everybody this is like a rule a universal law that if you want 
what you want. You have to do the right things to get it. And until you do, you are not ready to receive it. It's how I view it. Like you're not, you have not unlocked the necessary skills to receive what you want or to maintain once what you want once you receive it. Um, if you were to get everything you wanted right now, you would not know how to handle it because you have not learned the skills. That struggle is necessary. That struggle teaches you the skills to maintain what you what you desire. So, I mean, I could have my dream body today, but if I'm still eating the same way, am I going to be able to maintain it? No. It's that discipline that you learn. It's discipline that I need to learn throughout the journey that is going to teach me how to maintain the body that I want to have. That's why I won't have it until I learn that discipline. Like you cannot get the fire before you put the wood. You need the wood to create the fire. You can't get the fire before you put the wood in the fireplace. It don't work like that. It's just not how life works. If you were, if you could get whatever you wanted without putting the work in, you wouldn't appreciate anything and you would just squander it all. And when I say you, I mean me. I mean all of us. I mean everybody. Collectively, this is like a universal law. So, yes. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to stop talking because I feel like I've been talking your heads off. I'm going to check my email real quick and just make sure nothing is happening. There are no fires to put out. And then I'm going to run in Target. I need to make a list real quick just to make sure I know exactly what to get while I'm in there. I forgot I need to return this to Target. I bought this for King. He don't really like it though. So I'm about to take it back. Oh. And girl, I don't even have a bag. I'm just walking into the store with a loose piece of clothing. <laughs> I have the um, Target card that I paid for it with. Okay. Uh, I can take a gift card. I'm about to <laughs> buy some stuff now. Thank you. Have a good one. Yeah, I definitely get in the store and forget what I came for. I know I said, oh, napkins. I need to get napkins. I got the disinfectant wipes. What else do I need? <laughs> Oh, cucumbers, tuna. Have y'all seen these before? I'm not brave enough to try them, but well, let me know if you tried any of these bean and tuna ones. But what I'm looking for, ooh, jalapeno. And then I like the sweet and spicy, which is right here. I just had to check my emails real quick so I'm all caught up and I want to show y'all what I got from Target it's already known Lord. anyways I got the Clorox wipes or disinfecting wipes they're not, they're not Clorox brands um, and then they had all of their Halloween candy and stuff on sale on clearance for 70% off um, and y'all know Bernie likes trail mix so I got him this uh candy corn crunch trail mix it has honey roasted peanuts candy corn raisins white chocolate pretzel balls Ooh, i want a white chocolate pretzel ball that sounds good i don't like i don't like candy corn but he does i would eat everything in here except the candy corn so i got him two of these y'all this was two dollars and 63 cents i might go back and get a couple more and then Corey asked me yesterday for some kiwi so i got her some kiwi also got some bananas I got my two tuna packets, which I'm about to eat right now because I'm starving. Cucumber. They didn't have any minis, so I just got this one. I'm about to eat like half of it and just use my water to rinse it off because I don't have a sink right now. And then I also got two boiled eggs just to like complete my meal. And this will be like, by the time I'm done eating all of this, will be these eggs are 12 grams of protein for both. These are 14 grams of protein each. Oh, this one's 16, so I'll get the sweet and 
sweet and spicy is my favorite one anyway and it has 16 grams versus the jalapeno has 14 14 and 16 is 30 plus what i say this was 12 so that's 42 grams of protein in my lunch that's good y'all let me rinse this off Yeah, I don't know how this uh, knife is going to cut this cucumber. I'm guessing not that well. Oh, that was pretty easy. It ain't cutting straight, but it's cutting. <laughs> yeah, it ain't straight at all. <laughs> but it's getting through it. And one other thing, like if you put the egg inside of the tuna pouch, it tastes so good. Just like mash it up inside the tuna. I got a little kick. Hey, right, let's put the egg in. Girl, I need to open this. Let me do it outside the window. Oh, this coffee smelling like tuna. So this is what it looks like. That's good. All right, y'all. I am just about to leave the car wash. The car looks so good. I love a fresh car wash. Like, it ain't nothing like it. Anyways, uh, I need to log back on to work now. Actually, I got like 10 more minutes before I need to log back on. Because I'm going to do an hour and a half lunch today. And um, I might work at maybe like Barnes & Noble for the rest of the day. Because that way I can get on their Wi-Fi. Alexa, turn the lights on. Okay. Alexa, turn kitchen lights on. Kitchen light isn't responding. Please check its network connection and power supply. I'm about to show y'all what I got real quick. I didn't get that much because um, my plan is actually to shop every couple days. That way we don't end up wasting too much food. So I just asked the kids about some recipes they might like. And the first thing that they said was that they wanted cold cut sandwiches. So I'm gonna make two submarine sandwiches. And I just got a bunch of ingredients for that. So I got some salami. So I got two of these, which these are 14 ounces. And then I got a full, I'm sorry. These are seven ounces each, 14 ounces total. I got a pound of honey ham, some pepper jack cheese, some turkey pepperoni. I'm gonna use all of this on the sandwiches. I'm probably gonna use most of this meat on those two sandwiches because they can eat that today and tomorrow. So that'll be like two meals for each kid. Plus my husband, he can take um, sandwiches for, to work tomorrow. Cause we usually get like five sandwiches out of this loaf and then Corey likes this kind so I always buy her the Velveeta slices instead of like real cheese she don't like real cheese so I don't know why I already showed you all the stuff I got from Target 
And then I got um, just some cucumbers, some hot sauce, because I think what I'm gonna, what if I had planned to do with this hot sauce? Oh, I um, was gonna make some hot honey chicken sandwiches for them. So I also got chicken, uh, hamburger buns, and chicken breast. And I'll probably make these tomorrow night for dinner. So I'm just gonna put this in the fridge. And then Kane asked for chili dogs. So I got some hot dogs, hot dog buns, and chili. I just got the kind without beans. And then, so that's another meal, chili dogs. And then Corey will eat, she'll eat these alone, like chopped up with some ketchup. We needed some more quart sized bags napkin um and they also asked for noodles so i just got a few different kinds instead of getting the big box of the chicken ones so i got three of the pork three i don't think so i haven't i didn't get a chance to try them yet three of the chili flavor and then two of the soy sauce this is like one of my favorite flavors of ramen like the soy sauce one is so good hi boo boo What you going to eat for dinner? Oh my gosh! I don't know. You're getting too big. I don't I've been watching her all day. You've been watching you all day? Mm-hmm. Did you do a good job? Mm-hmm. Cody was most likely just went in her room and just stayed there for a lot of Cody was just in her room all day? Mm-hmm. And Kane was watching you? Yeah, and Cody got her stuff. I wanted to try her butt squad. Okay, what you give Kane out of 10 for his babysitting skills? Cody's skills to a one. Cody get a one out of ten? Yeah. And what can get? What happened to your hair? You need your hair done so bad. What can get? I'm not gonna give him a low score. I'm not gonna give him a high score. Yeah, that's uh, nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. That's a good score. Mm -hmm. uh. All right, I'm gonna make some sandwiches. Are you gonna eat a sandwich for the night? Look, I got ham, and I got your favorite cheese. <laughs> Shoot! Oh my gosh. Can you pick that up, please? Yes, I can, Mom. All right, you want a ham sandwich? I think yeah. I should get a water to walk here first. One of the few things Seven this child nine. eats is ham sandwiches. It gotta be this kind of cheese, and it gotta be just mayo. No mustard, no nothing else. Oh, and I bought you some kiwi. Kiwi! Yeah, you have kiwi? Yeah. Yeah, you have kiwi with your sandwich. Give me a minute. Okay. And I got your dad some trail mix. Okay, so that's everything. This was like $63, I want to say, and then... The stuff at Target was twenty dollars, so I spent like eighty three dollars on everything. Okay, look. Eighty four, something like that. Which for like two mi two days of meals is not too bad, especially with all this bag on meat. I can use another. Actually, this is more than two days of meals. It's probably like three days, three or four days of meals, because that chicken could make two meals. But yeah, anyway, that's what we got. I'm about to start working on putting the, together these sandwiches so that, um, hold on, let me help you. Mm -hmm. I wash my hands. I got, I'm about to start working on putting together these sandwiches mm -hmm. so that they are ready to go for the rest of the next and couple I'm days. Good. And, and then, guys, look how strong um, stop it, Corey. Punch her in her head. <laughs> Did y'all put, did y'all, uh, oh, that is too small, girl. Yeah. You need to get a bigger size. What size is that? Is that small? I don't know. Let me see. Where's the tag? The tag is on there. You took, you better not have took that tag off. I did it. Yeah, you need a medium. All right, y'all. I'm about to just put this to some music while I make the sandwiches and stuff. Can y'all put these brushes away, please? I'm
right with you, I feel like Scarface. Ain't that way, bitch, with the bob, I'll be your main one. Just chase this argument back up to my place. Sexual mind, you on the violin, I'm your day one. We had shit, yeah. It was magic, yeah. Magic grab shit, yeah. Last grab was dick a hole when you not it. Ain't a home when you not it. I'm the groom when you not it. I'm saying. I'm trying to 